Hi, I'm Jeff Wimmer from Studio Cycles, and this is the 411 on buying a used Star Trek Spinner Pro. This bike is a Star Trek Spinner Elite. Uh, it's an identical copy of the Spinner Pro, except the Elite has a red flywheel sticker, and the Elite has the smart release. Um, Star Trek Spinner Pros, what's most important about uh, buying a used Star Trek Spinner Pro is how the bike feels, um, so that you can uh, test ride it. Uh, if possible, or if the company can make the claim that it's been completely taken apart and rebuilt from the inside out, which is what we do with all of our commercial Star Trek bikes, if they're if they're used, um, then it's probably a safe bet as well. The Star Trek Spinner Pro uh, is one of the is one of the um, it's one of the easiest bikes to own if it's been built and tuned and maintained correctly, in that you you. Uh, don't have a whole lot to do with the bike besides keep it clean and lubricate key points in the bike. Um, I wrote volume six of my tech manual series, which is available at studiocycles.com specifically for the Star Trek Spinner series bikes. Um, a used Star Trek Spinner Pro can go from anywhere from $475 to $750, depending on who's selling it, what they've done to the bike, and what the warranty is that they offer with the bike. Again, when we get Star Trek Spinner Pros that have been in play for anywhere from a month to a couple of years, we will tear the bike completely apart. Um, a bike that's been in play even for a month, you could have a fractured chain link and not know it. The bike will, will operate normally, but uh, with a fractured chain link, you could easily snap a chain in the middle of a sprint and snap, and, uh, snap a bone or really, really have a serious injury. So. Um, Buying the used Star Trek Spinner Pro, again, if you're able to test ride it, that's a big plus. Uh, the warranty should be meaningful, at least a year, if not two years, uh, although we do lifetime warranties on our certified pre-owned Star Trek Spinner Pros. Um, and if it has a lot of rust on the bike, that's a bad indicator that the bike probably wasn't taken very good care of. For more helpful bike buyer aid videos, check us out at studiocycles.com.